For our next example, let's take a look at how we can use Dynamo to both place and flex the parameters of some param parametric component families. We're going to do this in a number of steps. We're going to select some Revit model elements, in this case a bunch of windows, then we're going to basically compute some values to help set the parameters for that window. And what we're going to do is based on the window location, we're going to compute the window size parameters using a sine wave function to create kind of a nice artistic effect. And finally, we'll go through and uh, use those values to preview that wave geometry and set the element parameters to create that wave. So here's the finished effect we're after. It's going to look something like this. We're looking at a series of different windows here. Okay, and we have both heights that are sort of uh, following a window or a sine wave pattern, as well as orbit on that on down. Okay these window shelves, and we're also using that pattern there. But here's where we're going to start. It's using something like this, which is sort of perfectly ordinary. So let's take a look at the example of how we can transform these perfectly ordinary windows into those very uh, curvaceous sine wave windows.